Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to design a, a staircase for a building commercial. And in this building, we have uh, four stories. So we're going to design the uh, staircase for the entire building. Now, what you see here on this screen is level zero, as you can see here in this tab, it's level zero, that's the, the floor plan. What we want to do is design a staircase here in this section and here in this section. So first let's get rid of these columns because we want to demonstrate the uh, the staircase and then we'll worry later about these columns. <clears throat> in this section we have uh, a curtain wall, curtain wall, this corner and this corner, curtain wall, curtain wall. Uh, if we want to look at it on a 3D view, that's the corner here where we want to design a staircase. So uh, that's a level zero, level one, level two, level three, and so forth. So uh, to start, we go to architecture tab, and then we select the stairs icon. Uh, what we want to make sure is we want to have an automatic landing and also the actual run width, I chose to be uh, 15, uh, 50. So uh, hover over this point here, don't click, hover over, and then move it a little bit up, and then put down uh, 3,658 millimeters. We're gonna, we're gonna do the dimensions here in millimeters. You can do also inches and feet, which is also fine, uh, but just for the demonstration purposes. Now, as you can see, when you uh, press enter, it draws uh, an, um, a staircase for you, but not quite. So what we need to do here is to change, come here to location line and change it to exterior support left. Activate that and it will align the staircase with this line here for you. So when you, I'm still not clicking, I'm just hovering and moving the, the cursor and take it all the way down. You can see in the faded color, we have 17 steps or 17 rises that are being created for me. So I'm gonna click and then we have the, the software has created 17 uh, steps or tra uh, threads for me. So then what I wanna do is a click on it and, and uh, click here on this uh, uh, blue circle and then reduce the number of steps to seven. So let's verify one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So we have seven steps. That's one side. Then we go to run here, click on it, then hover over this point here, you can zoom in, and then move it a little bit. You can uh, give it a dimension to have an exact uh, number between the two, uh, portion of the staircase, or you can just uh, look at the dimensions here and click. So just for, again, demonstration purpose, I'm just gonna click here, and then I have my second staircase. But then before I do that, I need to change that to run right, so I can align that with the, with the, with the first portion, and then align it, and I'm gonna click here. So then it's created, the staircase with the landing and the direction of movement. So then what I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna click here and then it's up to you if you wanna connect the staircase to this corner here of the wall or not, or if you wanna leave an empty space so people can get around the staircase here and clean uh, the curtain wall or not and that goes for the landing as well. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is we're gonna connect it to the wall again for demonstration purposes. So then I'm gonna click here and then align it and click here. So then I click finish editing and I finish the stairs for now, but see the warning here says stairs top, uh, top and exceeds or cannot reach the top elevation of the stairs at 
slash remove rises at the top and by control or change the tolerance relative top height. What does that mean? So if you go to this tab 3D, and if you don't have it, you go to this icon, click it, and then zoom in. When you zoom in, you see the stairs actually is not all the way connected to the slab of the first floor. To have a good view of it, let me hi uh, hide this side so you can see it closely and move it. You see the steps here are not connected quite to the, to the, to the slab. However, the railing are touching the slab. So this is incorrect because the steps have to touch to the, uh, to the slab. Also, when I'm looking at the bottom here, see the steps sitting on the floor, on the uh, bottom slab, so that's good. But the top is incorrect. So what I need to do is I go here and click to highlight the, the stairs again, and I click Edit Stairs, click on it. Then what I will do here is add one more, step and then i'm gonna click okay and go back to the 3d i have the stairs as you can see here are connected to the slab but uh, but still incorrect because the now the uh, railings are embedded in the slab uh, not a good practice if you look if let me have a good angle here so you can see You see the railing here goes through the slab and that's also incorrect. So what I will need to do is go back, click on it, highlight it then, uh, no, before we do that. Uh, we go to the 3D, see that's the bottom floor, that's the first floor. We highlight the first slab floor, then we click on level one we have the slab is highlighted here. And then what we need to do is to edit boundary, click on the edit boundary. Then we're gonna adjust the boundary of the slab of the first floor around the stairs. So what we need to do is we're gonna delete this line, then come to this icon and choose line here, zoom in a little bit and then click on this line click here and then connect it here. Then what we need to do is to click finish. See, would you like walls that go up to the, to the floor level to attach to its uh, bottom, say attach, <clears throat> then we go to the 3D and check, and here we see that the things are went correctly. Now, if you like this little bump here of the, the slab, you can leave it. If you don't, then you can just cut it here by going back again. First, we have to highlight the slab and then go to the level one, edit boundary. You see this? at its boundary here, and then we can just delete it because it's not very pleasant looking. We can delete it. Then we can just connect those. Then how do you delete this piece? We go to uh, the trim icon and just click here and here, and then you have it. And then mark, and then attach, yes. Then go to the 3D and you see now the stairs because you already have a wall here. So if you wanna bring this back, you're just gonna click up uh, on this uh, uh, light bulb, then right to click on the wall, unhide element, and then you have it back. And then this, that's your staircase. 
now uh, we finished the staircase for the first of all we still want to the second and the third level so what we do 